Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a Steve statue, but not just any Steve statue, a Steve statue in a nice shiny brand new set of diamond armor. If you want to make him, here's what you're going to need. You will need some sandstone block, as you might have guessed you'll need some blocks of diamond, you'll also need some cyan wool, white wool, dark blue wool, and finally, grab yourself some brown wool. And once you have every single one of those materials right there, and once you've figured out what you want to make them, I'll be making them right here, you'll want to kick off your Steve statue with a row of eight cyan in a row on the floor. That's eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like that, to give you the base of our statue. And once you have your row of 8 cyan, this is what you want to do for row number 2. So, building up on top of this first row, going from left to right, do this sequence of blocks. Do 1 cyan, 1 white wool, 1 diamond, 2 cyan, 1 diamond, 1 white wool, 1 cyan. For the next row, place a single cyan wool on the ends of your row, and then just fill the middle section in with diamond. For the next row, going from left to right, do 1 cyan, 2 diamond, 2 cyan, 2 diamond, 1 cyan. For the next row, going from left to right, do 1 cyan, 1 white, 1 diamond, 2 cyan, 1 diamond, 1 white, 1 cyan. For the next row, do a solid row of cyan wool. For the next 5 rows, do 5 rows of this. Going from left to right, do 1 cyan, 2 diamond, 2 cyan, 2 diamond, 1 cyan. And as I said, you want to have 5 rows of this, so this is the first. 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, we've just got them mocked out now, and all you have to do is systematically just raise up every block, or maybe build up all of the rows individually, whatever you'd prefer, but all that matters is, once you've finished, you end up with 5 repetitions of that row right there. Once you've got those five rows taken care of, this is what you want to do for the next row. So, for the next row, going from left to right, do 1 cyan, 1 diamond, 4 cyan, 1 diamond, 1 cyan. For the next row, place 4 diamond in the 4 centre spots of the row, and then just place cyan everywhere else. For the next 4 rows, place a single cyan on the ends of your row, and then just throw diamond everywhere else. And as I said, you want to have this for 4 rows, so that will be the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, then we just have to fill the middle section in with diamonds. So you just want to have 4 repetitions of that row right there. For the next row, going from left to right, do 1 cyan, 1 white wool, 5 diamond, 1 cyan. For the next row, throw a single cyan wool on the ends of your row, and then just do diamond everywhere else in between. For the next row, going from left to right, do 1 cyan, 1 white wool, 5 diamond, 1 cyan. For the next row, going from left to right, do 1 cyan, 1 white wool, 2 diamond, 1 white wool, 2 diamond, 1 cyan. For the next row, going from left to right, do 1 cyan, 2 white wool, 2 cyan, 1 white wool, 1 diamond, 1 cyan. For the next row, going from left to right, do 1 cyan, 1 white wool, 1 cyan, 2 sandstone, 1 cyan, 1 diamond, 1 cyan. And for the final row of the torso, do... 4 sandstone in the 4 centre blocks of the row, and then just do 2 cyan everywhere else to give you something which should, in total, look a little bit like this, just to show you the upper half of the statue. 
So once you've reached this point right here, and as always, pause this video if necessary if you're still working on any of that of course, we can continue on to the arms. So coming to the right hand side of the statue, come all the way down to the first row of the torso, which is this row right here. I'm not sure whether I pointed it out whilst I was making this statue, whoops, but it's this row right here, it shouldn't be too hard for you to find. Once you've found this row, going right of this cyan block, you want to do a row of four sandstones. So that's one, two, three, four. Once you have your row of four sandstone, you now want to stack seven more rows of sandstone directly on top of it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I'm just going to build the rows up now that I've counted them out. Vertical is always fastest. Once you have your, in total, eight rows of sandstone, you then, for the ninth row, going from left to right, do an entire row of sandstone. The left to right was slightly redundant. For this next row, though, you want to do one cyan, two diamond, one cyan. For the next row, do one cyan, one diamond, one white wool, one cyan. For the next row, do one cyan, two white wool, one cyan. And for the final row of the arm, just do an entire row of cyan wool to give you something which should look a little bit like this. I feel as though that went really fast, but I think that's because there's really nothing to the arm whatsoever. So once you've got that taken care of, we can now move on to the opposite arm, which is just a mirror image of that arm, by the way, very easy. So coming to the opposite side of the statue now, starting from the opposite block on the left-hand side of the statue, you want to start off with your row of four sandstones. So that's one, two, three, four. Then stack your seven rows of four sandstone directly on top. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then... Just got to fill them in again, vertical, always fastest, beautiful. Once you've got your, in total, eight rows of sandstone taken care of, for the next row, row number nine, do an entire row of sun, uh, cyan wool, not sandstone wool, that doesn't even exist, do an entire row of cyan wool. For the next row, going from left to right, do one cyan, two diamond, one cyan. For the next row, do one cyan, one white wool, one diamond, one cyan. For the next row, do one cyan, two white wool, one cyan. And for the final row, just do an entire row of cyan to give you something which should look, in total, a little bit like this, just to show you both arms and the torso all together. Once you've reached this point right here, in which you have built up the entire front of the statue, which is looking very nice, by the way, I really do love this statue. I say that about every statue, but I do love this one. I love all my statues, I've got to stop saying that, I say the same thing every time. Once you've reached this point right here, we can continue on to the rest of the statue. So we're now going to move on to the back. So, quite literally come to the back of the statue, and come all the way down to the bottoms of the feet. What you basically want to do is take each end of the base of your statue and extend each end coming out of the back of your statue each by three with your cyan. So like this, one, two, three, and one, two, three with your cyan. And then you just want to connect both of those third blocks together to give you a shape which should look like this. And that's basically just the entire base of your statue. Now we can build up the back of the statue and then the sides. So we're now just going to build up on top of this eight back row of cyan wool and we're just going to build up the entire back of the statue exactly how we've done the front and then like I said we'll do the sides. So for the next three rows of the back of your statue do this. Going from left to right do one cyan, two diamond, do cyan, do diamond, one cyan. And as I said, you want to have that for three rows in total. So just add another two rows directly on top of this first initial row, like so. And once you've got those three rows taken care of, you then, for the next row, going from left to right, want to do one cyan, one diamond, one white wool, two cyan, one white wool, one diamond, one cyan. For the next row, do an entire row of cyan wool. 
For the next row, going from left to right, do one cyan, two diamond, two cyan, two diamond, one cyan. For the next row, throw a single cyan on the ends of your row, and then throw diamond everywhere else in between. For the next two rows, do, going from left to right of course, one cyan, two diamond, two cyan, two diamond, one cyan. And as I said, you want to have that for two rows, so just do that again once you've done it the once. For the next row, going from left to right, do one cyan, one diamond, four cyan, one diamond, one cyan. For the next row, do a single cyan wool on the ends of your row, and then just do an entire row of diamond everywhere else in between. For the next row, do an entire row of cyan wool. For the next seven rows, throw a single cyan wool on the ends of your row, and then just do diamond everywhere else in between. And as I said, you want to have that for seven, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Coming over to the right, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we've just got to fill in the diamond. Low clumsy. There we go. So you want to have in total seven rows of that. For the next row on top of the seventh row of what you've just made, going from left to right, do one cyan, one white, five diamond, one cyan. For the next row, do one cyan, two white wool, two diamond, two white wool, one cyan. For the next row, do one cyan, one white wool, four cyan, one white wool, one cyan. And for the final row of the back, just do an entire row of cyan to give you something which should look a little bit like this, just to show you the back of the legs and the actual back of the statue together since, well, both of them are very easy, they're not complicated whatsoever, I don't feel as though I need to zoom in on either one of them. So that is what you want to have for the back of the statue so far. Obviously, pause this video if necessary, but all we have to do now to finish off the entire back of the statue is just add in the backs of the arms, and the backs of the arms are extremely easy. Here's why. All you have to do to complete the backs of the arms is look directly forward at what you did on the front of the statue and just copy the front of the arms directly onto the back of the statue. It is as easy as that. You quite literally just have to copy the front of the arms block for block and just apply it to the back of your statue. There's no explanation required, no plans necessary, just look at what you've already made and apply it to the back of your statue, which is exactly what I'm doing. As you can see, block for block, just copying exactly what I have on the front onto the back of the statue. And once you've finished, you should end up with something that should look a little bit like this. That is what you want to have for the back of the arms and, in essence, the entire back of the statue. That's the entire back fully completed. Once you've finished adding the arms, the back, and the back of the legs, we can now move on to the next bit, which is going to be the sides of the statue. So again, pause this video if necessary, if you're still working on any of that, of course. Once you have completed that, however, we can move on to the side. So coming over to this side of the statue and coming all the way down to the bottom of the legs. We're basically going to be filling in the sides of the statue how we'd fill in any other portion of the statue, either from left to right, or we're just going to be building in solid rows. So starting from the bottom of the legs on top of these two cyan here, you just want to kick this off by doing three solid rows of diamonds. So that's one, two, three, just stacked on top of that first row of cyan. For the next row, on top of the third row of diamonds, starting from the left, do one white wool, then one diamond. For the next row, just do an entire row of cyan wool. And then for the entire rest of the legs, you can just completely fill in the legs with your diamond block to give you something which should look like that. 
Once you've got the side of the legs taken care of, we can now move on to the sides of the arms. So coming up to the sides of the arms, first of all, you basically just want to fill the bottom of the arms in with your sandstone, like this. And once you've filled in the bottom of the arms, you'll have actually formed the platform for the sides of the arms as well. And once you've done that, all you basically want to do to start off the side of the arms very easy, you just want to... Do seven rows of sandstone, or to make it easier, you just want to fill in the sides of the arms with sandstone until you kind of like reach this point here. If you guys can see on the front and the back of the statue where we have sandstone on the left and the right, you basically just want to use that as a marker and just fill sandstone up to this point right here. Then what you want to do on top of the seventh row of sandstone is do a row of cyan wool. Then for the next row, do a row of diamond. For the next row, do one white wool, then one diamond. For the next row, do two white wool. And for the final row, just do a final row of cyan wool to give you something which should look a little bit like that. Very simple. Once you've got the side of the arm taken care of, all we have to do now is the shoulder, which is also very, very easy. So this is what you want to do for the shoulder, and uh, I'll just do this and then show you guys the end result since it's very, very simple. So this is what you want to do at the top of the shoulder. You just want to add those six blocks in those positions right there. Once you've done that, you have fully completed this side of the statue. So, just to show you how it should look all together, that is what you want to have for the first side of the statue. Once you've got that taken care of, we can now move on to the opposite side of the statue. And guess what, guys? This side of the statue is significantly easier than the previous side. Just as with the back of the arms, all you have to do to complete this side of the statue is just look directly forward at what you did on that side and just apply it to this side. It's very, very simple. Nothing complicated whatsoever. So, I'm just going to... Take my own advice and just look directly forward at what I did on that side. It's really easy, the colours are really bright, really easy to see what you've done. And just copy them directly onto this side of the statue. There's nothing difficult about it whatsoever. What did I do for the shoulder? There we go, so this, 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 here. And just remember the little bit of patterning at the top of the shoulder. I mean, it doesn't make a massive amount of difference, but Steve is still wearing diamond armor on his shoulder, so you don't want to just, you know, fill it in with cyan or what have you. But then again, it depends how detailed you want to go with your statue. Of course, you can do anything that you want. However, once you have completed this second side of your statue, you should be left with something that should look exactly like this identical to the first side of your statue. You shouldn't be able to tell them apart. Once you've reached this point right here, all we have to do now is Steve's head. So, once you have indeed reached this point right here, pause this if necessary, if you're still working on any of that, of course, we can move on to the head. So come all the way to the front of your statue and come all the way up to the top of the torso. You want to start off Steve's head by doing a row of 8 sandstone on top of the top row of the torso. So just stack a row of 8 sandstone directly on top of the top row. Just like that. Once you have your row of 8 sandstone, you now want to do 2 more rows of sandstone directly in front of that first row. So that's 1 and that's 2. Just coming out in front of that first row like that. You then, once you have this second row of sandstone, want to knock out the four middle blocks and then replace those four middle blocks with brown wool. Like so. This is going to be the first row of Steve's face, so we're now just going to be building up on top of this most outward row with this brown, and this is going to be part of Steve's goatee. By the way, I know that Steve doesn't formally have a goatee, I'm using the Steve skin at the moment, with the diamond armor. Weird how that works out. I know that Steve doesn't formally have a goatee, but I decided to add one because otherwise I think that this statue looks ever so slightly plain, so you can mold the face how you like it, but I gave Steve a bit of a goatee. That's how I wanted to do things. So we're now just going to build up on top of this first row. So for the second row of Steve's face, just do two sandstone in the two center spots of the row. Do a single brown either side of your sandstone, and then just fill the entire rest of the row in with sandstone. For the next row, do two brown wool in the two center spots of your row, and then just fill the entire rest of your row in with sandstone. 
For the next row, starting from the left hand side, do one sandstone, one white wool, one dark blue, two sandstone, one dark blue, one white wool, one sandstone. For the next row and the final row of Steve's face, just do an entire row of sandstone block to give you something which should look exactly like this. And that's right, I did say the final row of Steve's face. We're going to be putting a nice shiny diamond helmet on the top of Steve's head, which is going to be covering the upper half of his head, so there's no real reason for us to make the entire thing. Once you've reached this point right here, we can now build the rest of the head, so come all the way around to the back of the head where we have this first original row of sandstone block, and what you basically want to do is, with your sandstone, just extend this first original row over the back of the statue until it overhangs the back of the statue by two rows. Very similar to how the front of the head overhangs the front of the statue by two rows. Like this. And once you've done that, you then, coming to the back, you want to take this most back row, knock out the four middle blocks, and replace those four middle blocks with brown wool. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what we did to the front of the statue as well. I promise, we're not making a second face. So that's what you want to have for the first row of the back of the head. For the second row of the back of the head, just do an entire row of brown wool. Like that. And that's all we have to do for the back of the head. That is all we need to have, those two rows. So once you've done those, you now want to come to the side of the head. This side. And you want to, starting from the right hand side here, on the second row, you just want to do this sequence of blocks. Do four sandstone, one, two, three, four, then two brown wool. For the next row of the side of the head, starting from the right again, do two sandstone, two brown wool. For the next row, do the exact same thing, two sandstone, two brown wool. For the final row of the side of the head, just do four brown wool in a row, like this. And that's all you have to have for the side of the head. Very simple. Once you've done that to this side of the head, you now want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So coming to this side, all you have to do is look ahead eh, at the opposite side of the head and just copy exactly what you did. So just copy exactly what you did on that side of the head onto this side of the head, should look exactly the same, and once you've done that, we're now ready to do Steve's helmet, that's all we have to do for the actual shape of the head, so once you've reached this point right here, you now want to come to the front of Steve's face, and where shall we start? I know where to start, so, starting from in between Steve's eyes, these two sandstone blocks place two cyan wall directly in front of those two blocks, like this. You then, on top of the left cyan block, want to place a white wall, and on top of the right one, place a cyan wall. For the next row going up on top, just do a row of diamond, like this. You then, starting from the left diamond here, with your cyan wall, you want to go left of it, by four. So that's one, two, three, four. Then go up on top of the fourth block, by three. So that's one, two, three. Three, like that. You then want to return back to our diamond blocks, and this time, going from the right diamond block, you basically want to do the same thing. Go right of it by four. One, two, three, four. Then go up by three. So that's one, two, three. And then connect both of those third blocks together. Like that. Looking a little goofy at the moment, but trust me, it's going to look better. Once you've made this shape, you now want to come to the back of the shape that you've made, and you want to take both of the top two corners of the shape that you've made, the weird rectangle shape, and extend both of those corners back towards the back of the head, each by nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the other one as well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then connect both of those ninth blocks together, like that. Then starting from this side of the head, take this ninth block and go down by... Go down by six, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then go right of it, going that way, by four, so that's one, two, three, four. Then go up on top of this fourth block by three, so that's one, two, three. 
Then go right of this third block until you reconnect all the way back to the front of the head. So you just want to have this shape right here. Once you've made this shape on this side of your statue, go all the way ahead onto the opposite side and do the exact same thing. So from this ninth block, you want to go down by six. One, two, three, four, five, whoops, five, six. Then go left of this sixth block by four. One, two, three, four. Go up by three. One, two, three. And then connect this third block all the way back to the front of the helmet so once you've done that all you have to do now is come into the back of the head here can you see where we have these bottom blocks of six just connect them both together at the back of the head so we now have the completely empty helmet we're now just going to fill the whole thing in so the way that i'm going to do this is really easy i'm just going to fill in each side of the helmet and then show you guys what it should look like so this is what you want to have for the front of the helmet really really simple just a little bit of white mostly diamond pause this if necessary it's now raining you know what guys i don't like the rain it makes everything dull and dark i'll be back in just a moment once the rain is gone back in a mo all right guys so i literally just got rid of the rain that is what you want to have for the front of the helmet once you've got that taken care of we can now move on to the side so coming over to the sides now really really easy the whole theme of filling this helmet in is basically a little bit of white and then just throw diamond everywhere else so this is what you want to have for both sides of the helmet the left and right hand side of the helmet so that's what you want to have Pause this if necessary, of course, and you know what, as a matter of fact, I have to fill the opposite side in as well, so I'll just quickly come over to this side and do the exact same thing, and then I'll give you another still, and then we can move on to the back of the helmet, so... This is what you want to have for both sides of the helmet, really, really simple. Once you've taken care of those, pause this if necessary, of course, we can actually move on to the back of the helmet, so coming over to this side... Oh, I've actually just noticed that I've made an ever so slight error to the back of the helmet, guys. So, once you're on the back here, just to amend the helmet, you basically, you see these bottom six middle blocks of cyan that we have for the bottom of the back of the helmet? Knock out these six middle blocks, then move that row of six that you've just knocked out, just like one row lower, if you guys can see what I've done. Like, you've just shifted the row down by one and that's I'd, i just made a slight mistake that's it that's all you have to do to fix the helmet i apologize guys i'd i'd go all the way back and i'd edit the tutorial a little bit you know to make it so that that never happened but it's such a slight mistake i'll just leave it in here um once you're on the back of the helmet again just a little bit of white and then you've just got to um fill everywhere else in with diamond just uh, those three white blocks in the upper left hand corner then just diamond everywhere else so this is what you want to have for the back of the helmet really really simple once you've got that taken care of all we have to do obviously is just fill in the top of the head and then we're finished really really simple so i'm just going to fill the entire top of the helmet in with diamond and then we have finished our diamond armor steve statue so let me just finish filling this in and we're done so that is what you want to have for the entire head, let me just very quickly loop around, make sure that everything's filled in, no gaps, if I made one mistake, there's a possibility that I made another, let me see here, you might have just heard the postman, there we go, okay, no more mistakes with the head, so once you've reached this point right here, you have actually 100% fully completed your Steve statue, that is it. So this is what your Steve statue should look like once it's been 100% fully completed. Looking nice and shiny. Just looking nice, actually. All errors averted. I do apologize for that one more time, guys. I don't like making errors, and when I do, I like to just edit them out, make it look as though nothing happened. But such a slight error, I think that you guys might forgive me for just leaving it in the video. Just that one row of six just needing to be shifted down slightly. But what the end result is... This beautiful, beautiful looking Steve statue. And there's a lot that you could do with this statue. If you wanted to, you could put a sword in his hand. You could have him riding a horse. You could do all sorts with the statue. You could, I don't know, you could pose him in different ways. You could give him different armor. You could have him next to a creeper, killing it with a sword. There's, there's loads of stuff that you can do. I really love this statue. I really love all of my statues, but he's in, he's in the upper percentile of love. 
Hopefully you guys managed to make the statue no problem. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.